Excuse me, do you mind if I have just a moment of your time to talk about God? Uh, yeah, sure thing, man. Hit me. Hit me with it. Hit me with your pitch. Oh, there's, there's no pitch here, I, I assure you. I just want to take a moment. It's not going to take long. I just want to ask you one question. What do you envision your afterlife being like? Uh, well, wait, let me, let me try and imagine. Yeah, it's probably going to like look like that, just, just like a lot of black. That's, that's what I imagine. Well, you, sir, like imagination. Uh, I mean, have you ever heard in the scriptures that if you haven't been a good boy, you're going to burn in hell? Yeah, I get that all the time. And I've heard it all before. And to be honest, it's a little bit weak. And it's not really that effective. It doesn't make me want to sign up to your little cult thing any more than, you know, grating my penis with a with a cheese grater you know, for a bit of fun. It's, it's not really uh, it's not really entertaining. It doesn't really hook me. You know what I'm saying? Well, what if there's truth to the notion that, you know, God, God is an asshole, and if you don't play by God's rules, He will find a place for you to burn for eternity because you were supposed to be God's little bitch. Uh, what? That's right. He made you to listen to Him, to obey Him, to fear Him, and not question His word. And if you don't listen, He's gonna lock you, not just in a dark room for five minutes, but into a burning room for eternity. Um. Yeah, I, I, I get that, but you know, I don't, why should I follow God, like, because, out of, you know, out of fear, because, because I'm a little bitch, as you put it. Well, if you don't, you're gonna burn in hell for eternity! Yeah, I get that, but, really, I think I would rather do, if this is true, what you're saying, just hypothetically, you know, if I was gonna burn in hell for eternity, yeah, for eternity, because this asshole wants me to go on my knees in submission and fear him and listen to what he says without question, I would rather, uh, I'd rather die and, and suffer whatever fate awaits me on the other side than simply drop to my knees out of fear and out of, uh, pure, pure submission. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's very admirable of you. That's very, very admirable. Way to go. Way to go. When you're burning in hell for, for eternity, you can you can say or you'll be screaming. But you know, it's gonna be so loud, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna replicate what it will sound like. But you'll be screaming, Oh, I feel so good. I feel so good that I made the right choice for me. For the right choice for me. Uh you pulling my leg now, mate? I don't like the tone. I'm not I don't have a tone with you. I'm just telling you the truth, as the word has been carried down from God. Yeah, from who exactly? From some guy ages ago, alright? But everyone was pretty sure he knew what he was talking about. Yeah, right, and as this this word from this guy translated from God, has it is it the same translation or well obviously it's gotta be passed down through the times and adjusted to suit modern day needs, doesn't it? Then what about these translators? I mean, is, isn't there going to be some discrepancy, some mistranslation, Chinese whisper on a historic level? I mean, it's going to be understandable that, uh, you know, the, the quality of the information and the accuracy of what was originally intended might become a bit blurred a few thousand years later. Well, that's the thing, my child. With human words, human words are futile, and they won't last the test of time. However, God's word is pure, and when you put God's word into form... Even though human, a man, puts it into form, it is still of perfection because it's from God and everything God is perfect. Everything God that is, you know, all fearing, you know, he demands that you go and your knees all burn, is perfection. So it's perfection to be a sadistic, power-hungry, malevolent prick. Is that perfection? Well, you're just simply phrasing it the way that works for you. And that's all you atheists and all you science people do. You just word everything to suit you. 
when really, if you just look at the pure fundamental reality of it, it's right, it's not even staring you in the face. It's inside of you. Then you would realize that that the truth is just felt. It's just felt. You can't measure it with with a little measuring device thingy. You can't weigh it in a, in a weighing machine. You, 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 you can't give it high five in a high school boardwalk. It's something you feel inside and you just know it's real. And if you don't feel it, it means you're out of touch with God. And you're gonna burn in hell for eternity. Can you just cut up with the burn in hell for eternity part? I mean, seriously. It's a little bit rude, to be honest, for, for me to just approach you randomly, like, and I don't know, you you know, on the street, and just be like, Hey, are you a sinner? Have you have you repented? Oh, you did you know you're going to burn for eternity? It's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit rude. All right, and all I ask is just a respectful peer of this community is that you respect my needs to be respected. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. I didn't mean to show any disrespect. I ain't speaking. I ain't speaking in the, as a representer, a, rep a representation of God. And I'm passing on God's word. And I respect your right. I respect your need to be respected. But if you don't respect God, then you can suck my dick in hell for eternity. All right, man. Now you're just kind of pushing it. I think you should turn around and walk away. You hear what I'm saying? I don't, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I get a little bit passionate sometimes because I just believe in God so much, and I just feel Him, uh, all over me, I just, just feel Him inside me, yeah, I'm just gonna, wait, no, come back here, you, you gotta listen to me, you gotta, you gotta dig deep, Inside yourself. Ah! No! Oh! Man, oh! Ugh! I'm sorry. I'm just trying to give you a piece of God to take home with you for good safekeeping. I don't want you to burn in hell. You're pretty! What did you just say? Uh, nothing. Nothing. You just said I was pretty. Uh. Isn't there something about sodom and sin? Uh. 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 So, technically speaking, we're both going to be burning in hell together, right? Uh, no, no, I, lies, lies, you don't know the truth. Try, try to prove, try to prove what you just said. Bring, bring in your measuring thingies and weigh me up in your scales of truth. And you tell me, you tell me the truth. You don't know me. You don't have any right to confront me about these things. Fuck you, fuck you, burn in hell, you fucking hypocrite. Ah! And that is a prime example of irony. Ladies and gentlemen, motherfucking irony.